Right there, welcome back to Jamie Allen Golf. I've got a couple of friends here, seven iron, and these alignment sticks, I've all bought them, and I'm gonna help you guys today with a bit more advice on how to use these, okay? I've been asked by a couple of members here at the golf club how you use these when you go to the range. They're not just in your bag for sure. Let's get into this, discussing five drills that you can use when coaching or when practicing to help you improve your overall game. Drill number one that's going to help you get into a better position of the club face when you're practicing and setting up. Okay, so the cane behind the golf ball and the cane in front of the golf ball generally resembles the ball to target line and what the club face is doing in relation to the golf ball. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to set up and the idea is when we initiate the backswing, I want to feel like my club, the club head goes slightly inside that cane or slightly alongside that cane. And as I come back down, we're hitting golf ball and then the cane exit almost kind of inside the left hand portion of that cane. So think about, we're setting up to the golf ball, get into that position, club facing a square position. From there, taking the club head along that cane or inside, the, inside that cane depends on what angle you're swinging on. Come back down, hit golf ball, and then we're moving the hand slightly back inside that left cane. Drill number two that's going to help you start the golf ball in line is what I want you to do is I want you to set up the golf ball with two canes, kind of one running each side of each other. So the biggest fault I see in golf is people not starting the golf ball in the right line. So you set up kind of just like a tunnel in front of you. So the idea is if I want to hit a draw, okay, the ball's kind of positioned in the middle of the tunnel now. If I want to start hitting a draw, then I feel like I'm swinging to the right hand side of the tunnel. So I want to start the ball on the right hand side of the tunnel if I want to hit draw. Vice versa if I want to fade the ball. I'm going to aim on the left kind of feet kind of on the left cane. And then I'm going to feel like I'm hit starting the ball kind of left of that cane or slightly inside that. So this is just a reference point in order for you to see what you need to do to send the ball on the right direction in relation to target. So set up two canes, ball in the middle. We're setting the club or the ball to start off with in through the middle of the cane or the tunnel as you'd like to refer it as or the right hand side of the cane if you want to draw it and left hand side if you want to fade it. See that's going to hopefully help you start the swing off on the right path. So this set this cane up kind of at 45 degrees. That's the angle at the club shaft swing. That's known as swing plane. So if I, if I was to swing too far on the inside, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start lining the ball up on the outside of this cane, okay? So the idea is I want the club to kind of more work more in front of me if I struggle with dragging the handle too far on the inside, okay? So set the ball up on the kind of outside the, the ball to target line. And from there, I want to feel like the club's going kind of outside that cane. And vice versa, if you struggle with, let's say, the club going too far on the outside on the way back, Set this golf ball kind of on the instep of that cane, so kind of almost in this position. That's going to help the club kind of work more underneath that cane, kind of almost in that position, from the underneath it. Get it in there. It's just getting into a habit of doing that. So remember, if you struggle with an inside takeaway, set the ball up on the outside the cane, work the club more up in front of you. Vice versa, if you struggle with two upright, then set up on the inside of that and then swing more around yourself, avoiding this cane. What we're going to do is we're going to set a cane sort of along the ground again, if you can see from the camera angle. And what we're going to do is we're going to work on the back swing now. What we're going to focus on is the takeaway in our swing centre. So how our, how our basically chest is over the golf ball and our head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a golf ball kind of underneath this cane, right? Directly kind of underneath that. So. I can see the orange cane if I set up to the golf ball, okay? My eyes are kept on the golf ball. And if you were to sway, then what happens is my eyes come off the golf ball. So I should be able to see the orange cane and the white golf ball at the same time. So the idea is I want to keep my eyes kind of fixated over the golf ball all the time, okay? From that position, if I sway, then my eyes are going to come off the golf ball. I'm not going to be able to see the orange cane. Vice versa, take the club back, keep your head on the golf ball, keep the head on the orange cane and the white golf ball, I should still see 
the, the cane I should still be in my, my posture and as I come through I should still be looking back at that okay sway on the backswing I'm going to take my eyes off that cane and if I slide on the downswing I'm going to take my eyes off that cane as well so address the golf ball focus on the orange cane and the white golf ball the idea is I want to keep my eyes on that golf ball all the time then come back through and maintain that position so guys drill number five what I want you to do is place a cane kind of on the the right hip up on your right hip okay so this is feedback into how we want to pivot so I want to almost have the, the cane about a club head width away from my hip okay so the number one fault I kind of see in golf is when people sway too much away from the golf ball so what we want to feel like we're doing is this right glute works behind the cane almost kind of in that position okay so we don't want to sway so we get to the top of the back swing our right hips moving more behind us our right sides almost going up slightly because our left hips moving down the way almost in that position so we get to take the club on the way back okay so if I slide then my hips are going to come over off that cane so the idea is I'm putting my right hip on the cane okay and I'm turning away from the cane so my right hip moves back the way from there the right hip the right glute goes behind me the right butt cheek moves behind me so almost kind of in this position I'm not swaying the right hip tucks behind me the right pocket tucks behind me so kind of almost in that position if I slide and I'm getting into this position so take the club back the right hip works more behind you kind of in that position hands go further back and as we start down then we're getting into that position so guys five five drills working on club face alignment initial direction sent, remaining centered over the golf ball then the club shaft so swing path and also the last row which is swaying make sure you subscribe to the channel of Jamie and Golf let me know if you're struggling with any other topics within your game comment below like the video share the video around with your friends and